sourcing, producing, and doing business in a way that positively impacts everyone and everything involved. Uh, making clothing that's non-toxic, something that isn't making the world worse, and specifically I'd really like to cut down on the byproduct of fashion production. It's something that you have to introduce slowly to your customer. Um, I think a lot of people right now think it's very granola, very hippie, not for them. That means that you make designs that are not dependent on a short-term trend. It's not a separate category of fashion, it is a way of looking at the way you produce your fashion collection. The quintessential Afia piece this season is the peplum skirt um, because it fuses the two worlds of the West African prints with American trends. And then I, I think it also pushes the concept of what people think West African fabric is. You don't necessarily think of florals. This is the Dion mini dress and the spiral snood from our autumn winter 2012 collection. Um, what makes these pieces so cool is that they're hand knit, they're knit by artisan knitters in New York City. This is one of the looks from our fall 2012 collection. Um, it's a strapless swag dress that's made out of raw organic silk. Um, and on the inside, it looks like every other satin lining you'd ever see, but it's actually made from recycled PET, which is uh, more or less recycled soda bottles. Um, we also make all of our clothing in factories right down the street from us in New York. So this is the Elsa dress, and the design is made and not to be dependent on a short-term trend, so you're supposed to be able to have it today, and hopefully in a hundred years. Um, the material that's being used is 100% organic cotton, and also a nice feature of the dress, uh, which I always get a lot of comments on, is that it does have pockets. Um, and that, that's something that most women find very practical. This piece is from the Fall 12 collection. It's um, hand knit here in New York City using uh, basically dead stock yarns that we had sourced and some alpaca fibers from Peru that I brought back on a recent trip. Um, so it's basically hand knit in a way that shows different techniques and, and textures of, of knitting. And each piece is one of a kind.